Okay. Uh, welcome back. The second half of the show. Ilyasu Gashimbaki, a global partner at Discovery Cycle Professionals, joining me right now. We're looking at declining internally generated revenue, the implications, as well as some of the remedies. Uh, so far, so good. The MBS released that. Uh, Internally generated revenue for the third quarter of last year was at two. It declined by 263 billion naira. Mr. Gashimbaki, good to see you. Long time no see. Yes. Welcome to the show. Happy New Year. Happy, like you're about it's to say, happy Bogboe. Happy all, because yes. we've not been in a long while. Been a long while indeed. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. Yeah, doing great. Doing great. Yeah. Now, we've, we have, we uh, got a report from the MBS. Uh, and he said that the state IGR, that's 36 states in Nigeria, including the FCT, yes. IGR fell in the third quarter by 262 billion naira. Yeah. Give me your own perspectives of this. You know, we've been talking about this IGR for, for, for a long time, yeah. many years. Yes. More many than years. how many years ago? And it seems that we'll just be talking as if you're pouring water in the basket. Nobody's listening. Are they even listening to us? You know? I think nobody is listening that much because. Um, even when you say uh, we are learning, the learning curve has been too long. Mm -hmm. And beyond, uh, beyond being too long, um, I, I, I don't buy this argument that if it, uh, if it has taken the U.S. 100 years or 200 years to do X, China 40 years to do B, uh, we should take the same number of years to do the same. Why would you, yes. why do you have people to learn from? Yes, yeah, so uh, the... the uh, what bothers me is that we laid the foundation of building a robust IGR for the states when we first had uh, the peer review for the 36 states. Which was years ago. Yes, which was years ago. It mm. was conducted in, 20, in 2009. Nine. And that peer review clearly came out with what we call commendable practices. Key things that when you do, uh, it opens you up for um, uh, the, the, the increase in IGR and all the rest. But we didn't see that come true. And of course, again, if you sum it up now, um, we are in a situation where uh, uh, it has gotten even more worse than it were. Mm. The question is, what actually went wrong and why? Well, uh, a number of things. First, um, the recession. Um, I'm not a medical doctor, but there is what they call uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, when you PTSD. go through, yes, mm -hmm. very good. Yes. Now, I think that is uh, we are now going through PTSD of the economy, because uh, when uh, when we came out of the recession marginally, now people began to feel that uh, it's over. But again, uh, t uh, t they don't know that dot, uh, the, the, uh, those key things that dragged us back, they are still holding us. Because if you disaggregate the total collections that have been released by MBS, you've seen that it's plummeted by about gross of about 5% mm -hmm. or thereabout. And now when you dig further, when you analyze the figures further, uh, one, one thing that strangely came out uh, you see that the, uh, the, the performance of IGR is directly linked to the current uh, multiple challenges in the economy and the, ch and the current uh, challenges that the Nigerian corporates are going through and even individuals. So you, uh, because when you lift the veil behind the figures, what you see, traditionally it has always been that the PE, that's mm -hmm. where the ball mm -hmm. comes in. Mm -hmm. Now, when you see that began to shrink, and even the direct assessment component of it began to shrink, what that means is that it's affecting individuals directly. So, so of course, this is, this, this, this is a combined uh, 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 outcome of uh, we have uh, almost 21 million people out of job, we have um, uh, multiple exchange rates that uh, uh, generally affect uh, the Nigerian corporates in different forms, job losses. So when you aggregate all this, because the people that pay taxes, 
are corporate entities and individuals. They are not angels. So anything, when you sum up the economy, so it's a reflection of uh, what is on ground that you see directly affecting the numbers of the IGL. Can this trend be reversed? What should be done? That's the A part of the question. Yes. The other thing is, what do, should our tax authorities do? Uh, reversing the trend, so easy. Is it so easy? So Yet easy we've not gotten it for since you guys did your <laughs> fair review in 2009, this yes. 2019, 10 years. I know since 10 years ago we've been talking of this IGR thing. Yes. If it's uh, that easy like this, why are they not doing it? Well, uh, I think, uh, uh, well, I, I think if we have talked for over a decade on this and we are not seeing any change, then people are not listening. And I think one thing that we Africans should... Is it people are not listening or they are not yes, willing to do? It, but one thing that Africans or indeed Nigerians should learn is that if we consistently talk and they are not listening, mm. then we begin to punish our government. And that means steps need to be taken to say, look, the elite, uh, the political class, have not been listening to what is right. Or, of course, maybe we've been... Uh, at the subnational level or at any level indeed, uh, we've been putting people, wrong people on the saddle. So if we have successively done this, uh, because that's the only reason why you will say, uh, I've told you that it's a straight arrow, it's a straightforward thing that should be done and can be done. And fortunately, again, even some states have demonstrated that it's possible that this can, happen. can happen. Yes. So. Uh, what I'm saying in essence is the, the simplicity of it is just for the layman to understand. Let's just look at it in two folds. The first aspect which we dwelled upon since 2009 was to lay a foundation of where you have a sound legal framework, mm -hmm. sound policies in place, proper data analytics that will support the IGR drive, and every other thing, the proper information management system, capacity building, technology, all that fused together, those were the, 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 uh, the, the, that's the foundational framework for building a robust IGR. Now, because that has not been put in place, even the second part of it that has to uh, do with investment and development, mm -hmm. you can't talk about that. You understand, but again, uh, you know, you can't, you, can't, you, can't, you can't give what you don't have. So over time, because uh, this subnational government have not been able to put in place those things that makes even their states attractive so that it gives them the capacity to open up the economy. So how are you going to get more people to pay taxes? How are you going to raise the IGR when you have more people going out of job more industries collapsing, uh, GDP uh, depleting. So if you combine, so you need to be able to say the subnationals because at that level, when you get it right, you aggregate it, it forms the nation. So wha what we missed is the capacity of the state to prepare themselves properly with a view of they can attract capital, they can uh, expand their infrastructure, they can build on agriculture, they can do the quick wins that we know build people. Now, can those quick wins be achieved, bearing in mind that majority of the states come to Abuja to get money, FAC allocation, and that FAC allocation, a lot of it is also dependent on the price of oil and the sale of oil, and the other part of it, taxes. So if we see whatever happens to oil yes. would also affect the allocations that they are being given. Yes. So can these quick wins be achieved with all of that? Bear in mind that they've not even expanded more than the allocations they are getting. Okay, the, tr the quick wins can be achieved in two folds. The first foundation is let them even just do the basic elementary things of healing, cleaning their books very well. Prepare proper audit reports of the state, do their ratings, and then prepare themselves for the capital market because, you know, oil prices mm -hmm. has crashed. That's where the money is coming from. And we are all aware that uh, none of the states, except few, are even well prepared to survive marginally. So the strategic thing to do then is to do the, to, uh, to do the most basic. Prepare the foundational documentation that will help you assess 
like the capital market. If you combine the total subnational bonds in, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, in, the, in Nigeria today, it's less than a trillion. And the capital market is a huge gate that if they can put their books together, comply with the regulations, because the reason why they are running away from that is because the regulations there are stiffer. If you say this money is going into building a good. farm, it yeah. will go to, if, to, to the farm. If it is airport, it has to be that. So because it is over-regulated, they don't want to put in the uh, proper financial management frameworks that makes them attractive for that to happen. So where are you going to draw the money that will open up that? Yeah. Look at what, uh, what we are currently doing in, in agriculture. What is on ground in agriculture, for example, NASAL has done a lot. But when you, when, when you have a clear idea of the opportunity we have in agriculture, well, just last week, the National Livestock Transformation Plan was launched. Now, if you look at what NASAL has been doing and what they have, the plan they have, is a lot. It can open up the economy in one soup. But the challenge is, where is the money? Where is the money going to come from? Okay, what do local governments do just as we end the yeah, show? Yeah. Because everything still boils down to the 774 local governments in Nigeria. Yes. For the local government, I think, um, uh, regardless of their status now, it is very, very clear that the, uh, the, the, their collections has to be just like our, what we have recommended on and on. We should harmonize these taxes, and every state that has not passed the harmonized taxes for collection of both local government and state mm. should do that because they don't have the structure that will drive taxes and put in place proper accountable uh, assessment, uh, 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 collections, and accounting process for raising their revenues. That, that so, so because of that lack of capacity, the recommendation is let them work with the state revenue authorities. Let us have the taxes harmonized. Mm. But on the whole of this, like I said, the, 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 we, sh we, we are already in a situation now that we have to look for how do we get out of it. Okay. Now, getting out of it, even when you put in the structure the uh, accountable frameworks that makes this thing work. The other aspect, which is the investment and development component, has not been fixed. I think and then you will not have people that will pay the taxes. Okay. And the corporates are also in a more difficult position. Okay. Mr. Gashimbaka, I think we'll leave it at that, but I'm almost being forced to yeah. say that we will continue on a later date because the IGR issue yes. is so wide and it has so many tentacles that we need to Sure, to sure, drop. Sure. So we would arrange that perhaps after the show. So many thanks for joining me on today. Thank you for this edition me. of the program. Yeah. All right, I've been speaking with uh, Elias Gashimbaki, who is the global partner at Discovery Cycle Professionals. We've been looking at the decline in Nigeria that is internally generated revenue. States, I promise you, we'll bring you uh, this even as the days go by when when we schedule it. But many thanks for joining us. Be the best you can be. And be the change that you want to see. I am Nancy Naji. Have a good weekend, everyone. And don't forget, everyone, go get your PVC because your PVC is your power. Is your power. And add value to that card by voting February 16th. I'll see you all on Monday. God willing, bye now. <laughs>